from KVON, investigating for you. This is News for Tucson, live at 10. And good evening, everybody. Thank you for being with us. I'm Eric Fink. Officials now confirm 89 people have died in the Lahaina wildfire, making it the deadliest fire in modern U.S. history, surpassing the 2018 campfire in Paradise, California, that killed 85. Many on the island are still unaccounted for tonight. According to the Pacific Disaster Center and FEMA, the fire has damaged or destroyed more than 2,200 structures and burned more than 2,000 acres. And the heartbreak for Lahaina and Maui being felt right here at home tonight. A Tucson rabbi just back from the island is trying to process what he witnessed when taking a family trip to Hawaii. The rabbi was, was traveling with his wife and daughter, thankfully making it back home safely to Tucson just a few hours ago. He sat down tonight with News 4 Tucson's Connor McGill, who's live in our newsroom with the story. Connor. Eric, a trip to paradise turned upside down as devastating wildfires engulfed Lahaina and took over the island of Maui. The rabbi and his family just home tonight from a trip they won't forget. He gives us a first-hand account of what it was like on the ground. It happened so fast. I mean, you know, a 60, 70 mile an hour wind blowing a brush fire. Rabbi Samuel Kohan took a family trip to the island of Maui. What he hoped would be a relaxing getaway turned upside down as fire and smoke consumed the island. The rabbi tells us he and his family were told to shelter in place, making for a very tense few days. I think for us, knowing that we were physically safe was really important. And our daughter didn't, you know, we had what we needed for her, which was the most important thing. Rabbi Kohan says the damage is unthinkable. Officials on the ground say more than 2,200 buildings were damaged or destroyed. We drove through the burn area and, it, you know, it's extraordinary. Um, there are houses standing that were just fine and there were completely destroyed areas right next to them and destroyed areas on the other side. While it wasn't the trip he expected, Rabbi Koan is thankful for the Aloha spirit something this faith leader says will stay with him forever. Talk about the Aloha spirit and all of that. And, and you know, you, you, if you're older, you get a little jaded and you think it's all touristy stuff. Um, it was really on display. I mean, everybody was helpful. We didn't find anybody that wasn't. The Hawaii Emergency Management Agency urging people to hold off from traveling to the island to make space for first responders and volunteers heading their way to help residents. Stay with News 4 Tucson as we continue to follow the aftermath of this fire on air and online. Live in the newsroom, Connor McGill, News 4 Tucson.